Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today guys, we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Today, we are finally back on the solo game now that they have an off feature for the Ascendant Creature Unlock. So, I am super excited because we can finally resume our solo game. Um, I'm back on my dock, and we are going to carry on pretty much where we left off when we were trying to build up our underwater tame. So yeah, we are gonna go out on the ichthy here and we are gonna look for something um, to tame today. Hopefully hopefully something really interesting like a basilo or um, I don't know, a plesiosaur would be really cool as well. I'm kind of open to it. I do have the materials for a couple of different things. So um, I'm really open to different things that we may find down here. Speaking of, um, <laughs> all right, you're only level 10. Okay, so this Basilo is only level 10, but I'm going to keep it in mind because Basilo are super, super cool. They're a very useful um, mount. I would like to find one that's a higher level than that, but if I can't, I am okay um, coming back and trying to tame that, even though it is such a low, low level. I do love Basilos, and it would be cool to get a breeding pair on here as well. All right, that Dunkley is also low level. I might also check some Megalodons. Um, yeah, I'm not super interested in taming a Megalodon unless it is like a ridiculously high level. It would have to be very, very high for me to bother trying to tame it um, at this point. What level are you? 10, terrible. All right, I'm looking for something a little bit higher since the max level on this game is 150. Um, kind of hoping to find something more in that range, um, 120 to 150. Uh, so we're going to keep searching here and yeah, we'll see, we'll see what we can find. Luckily this is the solo game. Hello, lead sick these. So, um, something, sometimes things spawn in a little bit more easily than they would, um, on like a multiplayer server. For instance, this lead here, uh, he is beautiful. And it's a good thing he's there because I may need to come and take a picture of him at some point for one of the photography pursuits. So I'm just going to leave him there. Um, or eventually, if I find the unicorn, I may need to uh, I may need to do a little bit of unicorn taming and then fish him up at some point. So I'll just leave him there for now and continue on with my search. Hopefully we find something really good here, but... Um, yeah, it can take a while because it is the ocean and you pretty much have to just swim around looking for anything that might be interesting to tame. So I'm going to go ahead and search um, and I will bring you guys back when we find something that um, is actually going to be worth taming here. Okay guys, so we are back and there is a basilo here. And this Basilo happens to be level 70. Now that is not bad. I have been over a large part of the island now, and yeah, I've seen four Basilos, level 10, 20, 65, um, and now this one at level 70, and that's not bad, and I really want a Basilo. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and tame this guy, even though he's not the highest possible level. Taming a Basilo is gonna make exploring the oceans just so, so much easier. They're immune to pretty much everything, um, so I think it's going to be really useful to try to tame this guy up, and uh, hopefully that will all work out really well. Now, the only issue is that Manta <laughs> are incredibly annoying. Um, yes, yeah, so basically... Oh, don't hit the Basilo. So essentially, um, Basilo are passive but you have to deal with all of the other creatures around them, including Manta, before you can tame them. And the Manta can be quite a problem. Luckily, I do have um, this Ichthy here, which is pretty good. All right. It does help a lot to have this Ichthy, but you have to be really careful of Manta in the area. Otherwise, uh, you could very easily lose your Basilo tame, just because the Manta will come after you as soon as you dismount here. Um, so I've got to figure out how to get it out of the Basilo itself. Alright, luckily they are not aggroing on me right now, it looks like. Um, Ichthys don't take aggro, but they can take it from something that they hit. So this is actually 
about as good of a situation as I can hope for if I could actually there we go hit the manta away from the basilo and then attack the manta themselves without touching the basilo that would be ideal all right come here that's one down all right and we'll get this guy I know we can do it I know we can do it this is like way more difficult than it should be go down <laughs> Man, this one has, like, quite a bit of health. All right, there we go. Cool, so now we also have a lot of fish meat, which um, hopefully will be useful in taming this guy up. Now, I do have some soothing balm on me as well. All right, it looks good. Now, these guys are completely passive, so there shouldn't be any issues at all taming this guy up, um, hopefully. I'll just have to be careful to not attract anything else in the area that might be bad. All right, he's been soothing bombed. Nope. Nope. Come back. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Sometimes the flippers. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and equip the fish on my hotbar now as well. Follow this guy up here. I do like being near the top of the water column. That actually makes me feel much, much safer. Alright. Oh boy. Okay. So even with a ten times taming effectiveness... Hello, shark friend. Um... <laughs> Even with 10 times taming effectiveness, uh, he's only at 6.6%, which is, that is a lot of taming effectiveness I'm going to have to account for. And I've got all these sharks uh, coming to hang out with me as well, which is not so fun. All right, um, cool. So that's gonna be a little difficult, but luckily I do have my ichthy here, which um, will be just kind of useful for scouting the area, making sure that nothing too bad comes my way. And luckily I do have quite a bit of melee and a good spear on me, so we should be fine for at least a little while. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep taming this guy up, um, even though it will take quite some time, and I will bring you guys back when we are all ready to um, check out its stats and actually go make a saddle for it because I completely forgot to bring a saddle for this guy. So we'll have to take him back to base and make a saddle to test him out. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alright, so this Basilo is just about to tame up here. Now the first feeding did take quite a long time. Um, yeah, as always with passive tames, that first feed is a really long one, but since then it's actually been very, very quick. Um, it is only a little bit each time, but it does go relatively quickly, so there is that. Oh my gosh, Megalodon's everywhere. Um, <laughs> Alright, and my Basilo's hungry. Hopefully we can just get this guy killed really fast. I'm like having oddly good luck. There we go. Okay, cool. So this Basilo should now be ready for his last feeding. Yeah, it's super quick. Awesome. Okay, so now we have this guy. Um, he's pretty cute. I am like super, super happy with him. Uh, 104, that's not too bad. It is a female, which is excellent. That means if we find a high-level male, we'll be in a pretty good position to do some basilo taming, which uh, is only a good thing in my mind, because these guys are amazing. They just have tons of health. Oh, he's red, I didn't even realize. That is super cute. Um, this terrifying little face, but he is adorable. Alright, so yeah, 9,600 health, uh, not too bad, pretty good weight, um, kind of low on the melee and the stamina on this guy, but you know, it's not bad, I'm definitely still pretty happy with it. So we're going to head back to base and make ourselves a saddle, um, and that is unfortunately quite a ways away, and I will bring you guys back um, when we get over there. And we are ready to take this guy out for our very first ever test ride. I'm super excited. So I will see you guys in just a few minutes here. Okay, guys. So we are back at our base um, in the dock here. And this Basilo is all ready for its first saddle here. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so excited. I love Basilos, um, and I really love this one's color. It is so gorgeous. Now, Basilos, guys, um, if you didn't know, they have just so many advantages. They are kind of amazing. 
So they have an insulation buff, which um, keeps you from getting too cold or too hot. They do passively produce oil as well, so you can use this um, Basilo oil here, which does spoil, but it stacks up quite well. Um, so that is a great feature. Now, unfortunately, I believe if you go to a certain depth, they do start to take damage. I'm not sure exactly where that is, but there is a point at which they start taking damage um, due to depth. At least there is on PC. I'm not sure they've added that on mobile. It should be a thing on mobile. Um, if it's not, that's actually kind of cool. And that's because these guys are technically um, supposed to be whales, so they should be should be basically gaining. Um, <laughs> yeah, they should be gaining oxygen at the higher reaches of the water flow. There. Sorry, I lost my words for a second. Um, yeah, so basilos are amazing. They're probably one of my favorite creatures on the Ark. They're definitely my favorite underwater creature. Um, they're just so good. They're immune to jellyfish as well, which is amazing. They have such good health and they do such a high base damage that these guys actually are probably one of the best creatures you could ask for in the ocean. Um, in fact, I would almost recommend using one of these guys to tame a Tuso if you find one, uh, because they are just that good at... Um, basically just not dying in the ocean, which is pretty impressive. All right, so we're going to go around and look for a few more things to fight. We completely wrecked that Megalodon without any issue at all. So hopefully we'll find something um, else to fight here down towards the bottom of the ocean. And if we don't take damage, I think we do, but I would be perfectly happy if we didn't. Yeah, there. We're losing health now since we're so low, so we're going to have to go up the water column a bit. Um, so just be aware of that if you're trying to dive too deep. Um, you just want to make sure you get up before you lose too much health, because unfortunately they can lose it there. But yeah, super awesome. I absolutely adore these creatures, and this one is super bright red. I wish you could see the colors a little bit better underwater, because he looks green, but he's actually a very bright red which is just a gorgeous color on him, honestly. All right, is there anything here in the deep, dark ocean that we can actually fight at all? <laughs> it almost looks like nothing wants to spawn in, which is kind of interesting. Um, and the health regeneration is also higher, by the way, at the top of the water column as compared to lower down. So that is also something to keep in mind when you're using a Basilo, um, very good health regeneration up top, not so great health regeneration uh, down lower in the ocean, which is kind of a bummer. There's just not a lot of creatures over here. I may have to go back south again because there were way more things to fight um, way back over on the other side there. So we'll go ahead and take, uh, take a break, head over there just real quick here. <laughs> Yep, because I am seeing literally nothing except another Basilo, which is interesting. What level are you? 30. All right, but it's a female, and ours is also a female. I will keep an eye out because when I do find a good high-level male, I absolutely want to tame one because I really would love to do some Basilo breeding. Um, even though there's not a lot of point to it because the underwater part of Arc Mobile is just not that full of content really um it does have some cool creatures but there's not a lot of stuff to do down here um yeah i still want to breed basilos because basilos are by far my favorite ocean creature so definitely got to keep these guys around all right i'm gonna like head up here get some stamina back real quick um and it is getting a little bit dark but that's okay we'll beat this shark real quick there we go. So fast, so easy. It's incredible. And let's go ahead and turn on bright night so we can actually see here. Wonderful. All right. This is much better. And let's see what we can find. It looks like there's a bird up there. Nothing particularly interesting or dangerous, which kind of is less fun. I was really hoping for something a little stronger to fight here. Um, it would be great if we ran into a Moza. Of course, those are really hard to fight on a Basilo because of that water depth restriction. Um, but still, it can be done, especially if you have high enough health. 
it's possible to get down to the ocean floor, fight something really big and strong, and get back up without dying, uh, especially on something that has such a high base health to begin with. All right, I am seeing no creatures. How about some jellyfish? I would like to beat some jellyfish. Surely there are Nidaria around here somewhere. <laughs> oh man. The only problem I have with them, really, is that they are so much slower than an Ichthy, and even that is something that can, um, relatively speaking, be changed. Alright, so there's some eels and anglerfish. We'll take a little damage down here, but that's alright. Okay. So as you can see, yeah, we're just super strong. We basically just destroyed all of these things. And we're also immune to the shock from eels, which is probably my favorite thing ever because eels are terrible and this makes it so much easier to come to the bottom of the ocean. All right, and we are immune to jellyfish. So if you want a good biotoxin farmer, angler gel farmer, um, Anything that beats eels, these guys are the way to go, for sure. Alright. And they're actually relatively strong. Alright, we're out of stamina here, real quick. And let's turn around and beat this shark. We are taking damage, but luckily it's pretty slow. Alright, and they have a nice AoE as well, compared to most underwater creatures. So, honestly, I think... Probably second only to the Moza. Um, the Bastlo is probably one of the most useful underwater creatures. And actually, for my money, I would choose a Bastlo over a Moza. Um, and that is, again, largely for the region, uh, for the reasons I've already listed, including the insulation buff, the immunity to any sort of shocks or jellyfish. Um, yeah, and then also just that they are so, so cute. <laughs> that helps a lot. What? All right, now there's a 140. That's happening. Okay, <laughs> and it's a male. All right, um... Oh, goodness, where are we exactly? Okay, we are right next to my base. I am gonna go ahead and take these other creatures out. I'm gonna go grab a soothing bomb um, real fast from my main base. Luckily, I kind of know where we are. And then we're gonna come back and tame this 140 as well because, yeah, I'm not passing up a 140 bass low. That's impossible for me to do. So I just need to memorize exactly where we are. Right by this big funky rock formation. And luckily it is pretty close to the surface here. All right, and I will head right back over to my base um, and get that. So we'll be back in just a second to tame up this 140. All right, guys, so we are back and I've actually elected um, instead of getting one of my regular soothing bombs, I went ahead and purchased a major soothing bomb. And now the reason I did that was because this level 70 Basilo took um, quite some time to tame up, even though it's only level 70 and that was with a 10 times soothing bomb. So I'm gonna try out the major soothing bomb here today. Um, I had the amber for it and I figured it's a new feature. I should test it out especially on something that may take quite some time to tame up, like a 140 Basilo, which is just absolutely incredible. I cannot believe my luck here today. Um, it's really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and we are going to tame this guy up. I am so, so excited. Oh, my goodness. All right. It has been soothing bombed with that 15 times taming boost. And, yes, even with that, it is still only 5.8% done already, so it could take quite some time to tame this guy up. Luckily, 15 times should get us there much faster than the 10 times would, but it's still going to be kind of a slow process. So yeah, I'm so, so excited about this, honestly. Um, we're just going to hang out here uh, on our own Basilo. We'll be friends. This way I can kind of defend it really easily from anything, because everything that comes after it will aggro on me. Um, and I should be able to lead it away enough that we don't hurt this actual Basilo while we're taming it up. All right, now I do expect this to take quite some time, so I'm going to go ahead and take another break here. I know it's a bit of a clippy episode, but uh, good news being we will have a breeding pair of Basilos at really good levels after this is all said and done. So 
I will bring you guys back when this next Basilo is all tamed up. Okay, guys, so we are back. Um, we've left the female Basilo up in the dock area for now. I've made a saddle for this guy, and he is beautiful. So just so you guys can kind of get a look here, um, 17,280 health. That is an excellent base health. I'm really happy with that, and he is blue. So we have one red one and one blue one, which is... Um, it's just awesome. They're just so pretty. All right. He also has 1140 stamina. Not bad. 1022 weight. Not bad. And 417 melee, which is awesome. That is a very good melee stat and I'm super happy with it. Um, I'm going to have to beat this Sarko up here. It's a little close to my base anyway. All right. Nice. All right. And it tried to death roll me, but no such luck there. This Basilo is way too OP for that kind of thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so happy. This is the highest level Basilo I think I have ever found on an ARC mobile server um, in all of my time on them, which is kind of crazy. I know that they're out there. I know they can be high levels, um, and I play on medium a lot, but I've never seen one quite this high. They're usually in those lower ranges, so I am very, very excited that we were able to get this guy definitely going to do some bass low breeding at some point um even though it is a solo game i will figure out how to make that work because these guys are too good not to mess with and they're too good not to try to get mutations on so that's going to be a major goal of mine um we'll see how well all of that goes but we're going to give it our best shot for sure all right hello plessy level 10 2099 health you scrub there we go Look at this. Oh, it's so good. It's so good, and the AoE is so good as well. This just... Oh, that's a 150 Megalodon. No, I feel bad. I don't want to wreck you. Hold on. I'm going to run away from him. Um, I may come back and tame that, because a 150 Megalodon is actually really good. I'm getting super lucky on the levels today. I don't even know why. Um, but I'm not going to tame that guy today. He'll wait for a little bit. Oh, I'm out of stam. No, I don't want to kill him. <laughs> I really don't want to kill him. Let's head over this way. We'll, we'll try to kill this pussy, um, which I believe was a little bit higher level than the level 10. And then, yeah, we'll probably end it off there because this is probably getting to be a bit of a long episode with two tames in it. Um, quite a bit of riding around. Oh, that was so easy. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. Um, so, yeah, if you don't already have one, Basilos are one of the best underwater mounts you can get, um, by far, in my opinion. And they're actually not even that hard to tame if you're just careful about the area that you're in while you're out there trying to do the taming. So, highly recommend. Definitely give it a try. Oh my gosh, they're just so good. I cannot wait to try taking down some Mosas with these guys at some point. Um, once I get one all bred up and imprinted, yeah, you guys will see. You can easily get these guys to 50k health or more, and then they kind of just become, um, yeah, basically they wreck everything underwater, and it is, it is fantastic. It is one of the best things you can do, for sure. This eel is going to come after me and watch him not be able to do a darn thing. I love it! Ah! Eels are great. <laughs> eels are so great. Um... In fact, I might even try to tame eels uh, now that I have some basilos on here because eels are also a passive tame, but basilos are immune to their shock. So what you can do is basically hop off your basilo, leave it on passive, let the eels aggro onto it, um, and then kind of swim away from them and then swim up to them once they've kind of done their shock thing. So while they're recharging their shock, you can swim up to them and... Uh, basically passive tame them, which is kind of cool. Oh, that was so fast. It's satisfying. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I love how much damage these guys do compared to the Ichthy. It's just so good. All right. So, yeah, guys. Um, yeah, I don't really have that much more to do in this episode right now since I'm saving the breeding for the next one. So, I think we'll go ahead and pretty much just end it off there. So, yeah, guys. If you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, 
This is The Iguana. <laughs>